In this scenario, we'll demonstrate the procure to pay process in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this scenario, I will show you how to enter in a purchase invoice, then pay the vendor. We will review the vendor pay balance and then also show feature around how to auto suggest the appropriate payments. So the first step is to create the purchase invoice. So I'm logged in to Business Central and I'm going to go ahead and select vendors and I'll select this first vendor Fabricam and I'll select on the purchase invoice and I'll enter in an invoice number from the vendor and then from the drop down I'm going to go ahead and select on this uh, London swivel chair and I'll go ahead and enter 20 of those and then I'll post that in to create post the invoice and then just to show it I'll, I'll print that out so we could see the uh, the purchase invoice. You'll notice now I can see I can drill into the balance of the and I see the result of this new invoice I just created. The second step is to pay the purchase invoice. So I'll select payables right here in the shortcut and I'm going to go grab the uh, payment journal and I want to go ahead and edit this journal batch. I'm going to select the drop down and because I've got it on an account type as vendor Right, I'll select Fabricam and I'll enter in that amount and I'll scroll over the right and I'm going to tie that back to the uh, invoice that we just created. That was the second one right here and I'll select OK. And now I'll say yes to posting those journal lines. OK. Next, let's just review the history of what we just did. So I'll come back to vendors. And you'll notice here in the tile on the right hand side of the fact box, I've got uh, 18 for my posted invoices. And here's the one we just created here with that vendor invoice of 102446. And then in terms of auto suggest, you know, the recent purchase invoice of Fabricam needs to get paid. So I can go to cash management go into the payment journals and in this case here I can manually figure out what it is I want to do but in the payment journal window you can use the suggest vendor payments to suggest payment lines so I'll select that button right there and you'll see that I now have a list of payments of vendors and I can go through each one and determine you know which ones we want to pay and we'll close that out and that's the end of the demo scene around procure to pay. Again, the goal of the scenario was just to demonstrate that process. And the benefits clearly are to reduce time and data entry, but also improve control of the data and the business.